Welcome Pisces and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Monday the 30th of August through to Sunday the 5th of September 2021. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side will be your crowning wisdom message cards. So Pisces, let's jump straight in and see what your overarching crowning messages are for the week ahead. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me your crowning message to the question? How does the soulmates of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in thank you? First card out. Oh, we have dreaming. My angels and spirit, spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell thank you? Uh, and we have trust. Uh, oh, thank you. And inner knowing. Okay. All right, before I get into your readings, Pisces, let's have a look and see what your overarching um, crown and wisdom messages are first. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me your thank you? Oh, wow, look at that, feast of plenty. Oh, do you know, oh, okay. All right, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, Please, can you tell me your crowning wisdom messages? Thank you. Sky writing. Some of you are really speaking your truth this week or you have done. And you know something? It's going to pay off. Just trust some of you already know it's going to pay off. Wow, you guys are rewriting your story in a big way. Okay, they say, oh, look at that. Caterpillar. And a bonus card of in the hand. Oh, wow. Do you know what? I picked up that this was going to be a very powerful reading. Um, and um, it is. Okay, for those of you that I am reading for, um, let me just sort out these cards. For those of you that I am reading for, I feel as if um, many of you may be in this state of dreaming, dreaming of a future that you want for yourself, dreaming of a positive outcome between you and the person that you are thinking about, dreaming about a positive outcome outside of this connection for some of you. So, for those of you, um, I, I know from the um, weekly reads and the weekend reads, um, to be honest with you, for a while, there have been a number of Zodiac signs that have been um, um, advocating for something or in some sort of uh, legal tanglement. Um, I feel as if this is coming to an end, if this applies to you, Pisces. I feel as if you're dreaming. You're almost dreaming hearing your calling you were called to do something um and i feel that you've done it you, you've done what you needed to do you heard the calling um and now you're dreaming of the outcome i feel as if divine spirit universe is saying just trust now trust divine spirit universe your higher self that what you were called to do um and what you have actioned um whatever it is you're dreaming about i feel as if it's coming towards you and for many of you uh you already know this it's as if your intuition um is on point um this week pisces um i mean you are the intuitive zodiac sign it's as though you are um the only way that I can uh, express it is that you are a supernova in, in intuitive at the moment. There is just an inner knowing that whatever it is you were called to do, okay, that you are now um, 
dreaming of the outcome, wishing, hoping, praying um, that it does yield the reward that you hope for, whether it is for yourself, this connection or something for the greater good of all. So whether you or not you're advocating for something or you are um, going through some sort of legal um, proceedings, uh, I feel as if you're being guided to just trust spirit, divine universe. And through your intuition, I feel as if your spirit team will let you know the outcome of whatever it is your question is at the moment uh, before it even happens. Beautiful. Okay, so for your just got that there so for your crowning wisdom messages uh i mean just look at the power of that card feast of plenty choices and their consequences i feel as if um pisces whether or not this is a love connection or something outside of this love connection um i feel as if you spoke your truth and Boy, did you do it with power. It's almost as if nobody can contest you. Uh, nobody can argue with you. You spoke your truth. OK, and it was something that was illuminated for you to do. All right. It was something that you heard a calling and that truth. There is there is almost like there's just no contesting it. All right. And I feel that the wisdom that's coming in is that uh, trust divine spirit universe because you are going to be feasting on plenty. The choices that you made, OK, to hear the calling that you were illuminated to speak some sort of truth. The consequences of that is going to I feel it's going to be in your favour. And with skywriting the fate, absolutely. It's as though through your third eye chakra, you knew that you needed to speak some sort of truth. Something was illuminated to you big, big, big time. And I feel as if you decided, right, I'm going to rewrite the story. Um, I'm not going to put up with this, um, with either the person that you're dealing with, a situation outside love, whatever it is, you have rewritten the story. And I feel as if it was fated for you to do this. And with Cat Ur Pillar Opportunity, do you know what I love uh, with this card is that you have gone through massive transformation. Um, it's as though you may have been cocooned with the truth um, that you have been called to speak. So for many of you, uh, whatever it is you spoke about, whatever it is you stood up for firmly that nobody can argue with you now, it feels as if you were a cocooned for such a long, long while now you see very very clearly again with that uh, purple violet coming in here with your third eye chakra you see very very clearly and with the pink of this cat uh, pillar that's coming here I feel as if that is universal love that is literally around you right now and it has presented you with an opportunity and I feel as if you have taken it and then look at that in the hand the universe is your partner. Guys, I tell you something, whoever I'm reading for, wow, did you co-create with Divine Spirit Universe over some sort of truth that you needed to speak? It's as if those of you that I'm reading for, I would say that you're spiritual, very, very spiritual people. You know how to manifest, how to pray, how to meditate to depths that are totally awakens your intuition and it's as if you oh my gosh <coughs> I'm even choking it's almost as if whatever it is you spoke about whatever it is you needed to correct okay rewriting a story it's almost as if divine spirit universe was your partner almost your defender um your advocate, um, giving you the strength is as if you lifted yourself up to divine spirit universe to get the wisdom, the knowledge. Again, look at the solar plexus coming in here, the wisdom and knowledge to take the action that you needed to take to ground yourself, um, either in your community, uh, at work, in a relationship that red here representing the root chakra. Um, boy, it, 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 this is just so powerful. It's almost as if 
you did not hesitate when you heard that calling, okay? Now you're in a period of the work has been done, okay? Um, and I feel that you're that divine. Divine is saying, trust us now. You've trusted us this, this far. Trust us all the way. Wow, what a powerful reading for you. Um, loving this for you, uh, Pisces. Whatever your situation is, um, right now, it's just all positive. Okay, so Pisces, if this message is resonating for you already, um, and they're just telling me to call out. When I was pull, um, doing your pre-shuffle and meditating, one of the cards that came up was blessings. Um, so it does feel as if whatever it is you're doing, whether or not it's with regards to yourself and somebody that you're thinking about, or with regards to something, a situation is outside of, um, you know, a love or romantic reading, I feel as if um, you were blessed. You were blessed to do this journey to rewrite um, something that I feel that was, that needed correcting. Um, you were blessed with the information that you needed to speak your truth firmly, okay? And I feel as if not only were you blessed, but to know something, I feel as if everybody else around you that knows about this or anybody that was impacted with the truth that you spoke, uh, they were blessed as well, all right? Okay, so Pisces, if this message resonates, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. It really, really does help to push this video out to other Pisces seeking a weekly reading. If you haven't subscribed already, Pisces, please go ahead and click that subscription button. It will ensure that you get notifications of when I'm uploading new messages. Um, and also as well, Pisces, it really does support the channel. So thank you in advance. Existing subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome back. Uh, thank you for all of your support, encouragement, donations. Um, those of you that have been with me from the beginning, you will realise that um, it has been a year. Um, 15th of August was when I launched um, Spirit and Truth. And this reading table cloth is the first cloth that I use. So I myself have gone through a full cycle. Um, so if you have been on that journey with me, um, welcome, welcome back and thank you for your support. I hope you all get a useful and meaningful reading out of this week's messages. Let's go ahead and see what your messages are my angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you tell me how does the soulmates of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday the 30th of August through to Sunday the 5th of September 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Pisces that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all As above, so below, and all around me. Thank you. <coughs> Excuse me, Pisces. I am getting over a cold, so my apologies if I cough or sneeze. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does these... So thank you. Wow. So we have uh, the king of pentacles coming in here. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmates of Pisces, thank you, wow. Some of you may have some money coming towards you if you are an advocate or been involved in some sort of uh, legal case. I feel as if it's going to be ruled in your favour. Many of you may get payout um, from whoever... Um, you're up against a lot of detail is being looked at my thank you wow yeah uh communication 
Nine of Wands, I feel as if, yeah, you surrendered, you surrendered to the call to speak your truth. And I feel as if it's something that you were looking back on. It's almost as if you were gathering information. I don't know why something to do with um, a court case or something um, is really coming through here. And then look, we have got uh, the Knight of Wands in your energy. The Nine and the One Wand here is a Ten of Wands. Whatever it is you're going through, it was quite burdensome. For many of you, you may have been very kind of in and out. Am I doing the right thing? Kind of energy. Uh, I feel as if Divine Spirit Universe is saying, you have done well. You've done well. Thank you. And then we have... Look at that. We've got uh, the six of uh, cups here. Uh, I feel as if this is something, this is a cycle. If it is some sort of advocacy or some kind of legal situation, it's a cycle that you've gone through uh, many, many times in many, many lifetimes. Wow. Okay. And uh, we've got the 10 of coins. Uh, I'm telling you, Pisces, if you are an advocate for something or you have been fighting for something, um, outside love or maybe even some sort of a no it's not a divorce but it could be for some of you I feel as if um, you're you're going to come out victorious a lot of coins um, on this side this is your side there's a lot of coins and it feels as if this is coming towards you all right certainly um, it feels as if this person uh, could be a judge somebody that is a lead arbitration person of some sort looking at the details of what you've communicated you've surrendered your truth you've surrendered a calling um that you were called to do and i feel it's because it's about your future it's about building something that is right correct for your future many of you may have been a bit 50 50 have i done the right thing have i said the right thing the app the answer is absolutely yes because I feel as if you're going to be awarded a big massive payout a lot of coins here um with the six of cups here I feel as if this is something that you've gone through in many many lifetimes many of you uh may have been lawyers or solicitors or um an advocate or um a, 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 the energy that I'm getting of 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 somebody or of people that uh <sighs> to be honest with you, changes, advocates change. And you know what I am, um, the energy that I'm getting, and this is not going to apply to all of you, the suffragettes. That's what I'm getting. You know, it's almost like um, a one movement, you know, one person that created a movement of many changed the rights of women that is what I'm feeling here, Pisces, for you. All right, that's outside love. That seems to be very much a predominant message for you. Um, with regards to love now, let's focus on love. Whoever it is you're connecting with, I feel as if they're coming towards you with a solid offer. They have really looked at the detail of something that you spoke about, some sort of truth. It's almost as if you spoke your truth bam, and you left it there and you walked away. Uh, the consequence of that is that you're looking back on conversations, things that you said, things that you've done, hoping to build a future with this person. They want to build a future with you now because I feel as if they are looking back on these conversations, looking back on this connection with you. I feel as if they've gone through a transformation. They may have actually released this into divine spirit's hands. Um, you were really unsure whether or not you spoke your truth, would reap the consequences that you wanted Absolutely. I feel as if a big fat yes, it is. Um, you miss this person. You may have spoken your truth. And like I said, walked away, rewriting your story. Something was off key. And it feels as if either this person denied it, they could have been focusing on their money. Um, but ultimately, they do want to build a future with you and you want to build a future with them. You spoke your truth, something that wasn't sitting quite right with you. And, and you're missing them. You're dreaming about them. Let's have a look and see what your clarifiers are. 
my angels and spirit guides thank you wow this person is coming in with swift communication to you just double checking that these i've got them all lined up yeah this person is coming towards you with swift communication after some sort of tower moment between the two of you all right they definitely looked at the detail and i feel as if they're taking action for a solid offer towards you wanting to rewrite this story i feel as if this person has definitely gone through um some sort of transformation where they have lifted up the situation to divine spirit universe i feel as if they have placed their trust in the hand of divine spirit universe when it comes to their heart they now see that this is a an opportunity with you and look at that the king of pentacles coming in again i feel as if this person now look at this um this person here is this is the same energy the same person they're coming towards you okay with a solid offer but in the clarifiers their back is towards you so it feels as if whatever this tower moment was they didn't offer a solid offer towards you they're now looking at the detail of that all right and it's like they are changing their mind because they're coming in with swift unexpected communication to offer you something after looking back and realizing that they didn't offer something when they should have and it created a tower it, it created either the two of you going in separate se separate uh, separate ways not speaking too much thank you Look at that high priestess coming in. This person either sees you as really intuitive or intuitively their inner knowing is letting them know um, you could be dealing with another Pisces or maybe even a water sign. There's a lot of water here. So uh, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, uh, you could be dealing with. I feel as if this person is very intuitive, all right? They just know, they know that whatever you spoke uh, was some was some truth okay and it feels as if this period of time of being away from you it's as if look at that the wheel of fortune it's as if divine spirit universe has heard um their plea their prayer um trusted in divine that they will show them the way um with regards to this connection with you and the wheel of fortune that's divine intervention coming in there okay and this wheel of fortune is going to be turning in this person's favor all right they're surrendering to this connection um they could have really fought this connection denied it in some shape form or another they're looking back. They're looking back on past conversations and just thinking, shit, have I lost this opportunity with Pisces? I need to make, I, I need to correct it. I need to come towards them with a solid offer. And look at that, the six of pentacles. Look, you miss this person. Yeah, the same card up here, six of pentacles. I feel as if you are very much... Um, Receiving messages, okay, maybe dreams, visions, synchronicities um, to just surrender, uh, just, just leave it in divine's hand now. You've said what you needed to say. I feel that you do want communication. Um, again, nine and that one one there is tens. It, it may have been really burdensome for you, Pisces, to separate yourself. But you know what? You've done it. And I feel as if that feast of plentiful is coming your way. Um, the choice that you made to speak your truth, then almost kind of walk away. Look, that card wanted to stay there. Look at that, the devil. Yeah, you've gone through major transformation. You could have Capricorn in your chart um, or uh, the person you're dealing with may have Capricorn wit in their chart. Whether or not you've kind of felt 50-50, felt a little bit trapped, a little unsure. Divine Spirit Universe is saying trust, 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 trust. You've lived many lives with this person. It almost feels as if you have triggered something with this person with regards to being open about how they feel. Where I feel as if they, they weren't for some reason. But it was burdensome for you and you felt trapped, felt trapped. 
And it's like you speaking your truth, rewrote your fate, transformation, transformation, um, grabbing an opportunity to speak your truth and then walking away and then trusting divine spirit universe has it in hand. My angels and spirit, thank you. Wow, what? look at that. I cannot even make this up right now. The four of cups, you offered this person a cup of love. They didn't take it. And I feel as if they were quite mongy, quite, you know, upset. Some of them could have turned to drink. Some of them just, yeah, I, I feel as if they just can't stop thinking. They can't stop thinking about that cup that you offered them. That I feel that you were really unsure whether or not they would really see this connection. I feel they've gone through a bit of a transformation as well, Pisces. You may have seen this person also as a bit like half in, half out. Thank you. Oh, my days. This person is uh, your wish fulfillment. And you know something? I feel that you are theirs as well. That's what they're waking up. This energy actually could be them going through a transformation after refusing a cup of love from you because they were unsure they are absolutely sure. You heard the calling. They heard the calling. Same shell. I feel as if you may have made the calling first. I feel now that this person is calling in you. Could be dealing with an Aquarius or you could have Aquarius in your chart. Uh, but I feel that, um, I mean, with the Six of Cups and the Star card, there's no doubt in my mind that the two of you have... Um, lived many 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 lives together it feels very much like a divine a, 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 div a very divine connection actually it's like this person wow look at that it's <laughs> cannot even believe it look at that the circle and for me i see this as th that this connection is very much protected it's as though divine spirit universe was calling both of you to uh, change the situation. And it required you speaking your truth and then walking away. Many of you may have been really unsure whether or not it was the right action. It was the right action to do because it's going to come full circle now. The world card is you wanting change. And I feel as if the calling has been heard by you. You want change because you miss this person. But also I feel as if spiritually you're calling this person because you're in this dream mode. And I feel that divine spirit universe is, 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 is turning this situation in this person's favour to surrender to this connection. Because you want change. For many of you, if this is outside love, and you know we were talking about some sort of legal or arbitrary situation, I feel as if the whoever it is that you're up against, their world is going to come tumbling down because I feel as if the action or ruling is going to be swift and unexpected. They're not going to expect this wheel of fortune uh, to go in your favour. The wheel of fortune turning in their favour is that they, they have to surrender to the fact that whatever you spoke was truthful and it's like it can't be argued, yeah? It's like they um, they could have had an opportunity to settle out of court with you, the high priestess and the king of pentacles, they didn't. And it almost feels as if divine spirit universe is now brought in a third person, a judge or somebody who's going to rule in your favour. It's like they're going to look at all the details of this person or company or people and rule firmly. And I feel as if it was burdensome for you. You may have tried to offer some sort of remedial action or peaceful resolution. They didn't take it. And I feel as if they're going to regret it now. 
feeling trapped. And it feels as if the action that you're taking with regards to this, it was supposed to happen. It was supposed to happen to advocate change. For many of you, it could be something to do with a worldwide issue that actually you're protecting, maybe an environmental issue. Some of you, it could be your community that you live in. But it feels like it's something greater than you that was being protected. It's like whatever you are doing is not just for your benefit, it's for the benefit of others. And that is why Divine Spirit Universe is protecting this connection, protecting the action that you've done, because it's almost as if you heard the calling, you acted upon it. And Divine Spirit Universe is now saying, trust, they've got it in hand. And for many of you, you're going to get a big payout. Back to love, um, I feel that your person does want to build a future with you and they are surrendering to that now. They are understanding that that is how they feel. They know that you want to you want to build a future with them, I would say. Oh, look, the hangman, they're just showing me that. I feel as if this person and you have been quite still stagnant. Um, it's as though Pisces, you spoke your truth and walked away. And I would say for a while, I, I want to say, a, I want to say a few months, the two of you haven't really spoken that much. If you've spoken a bit, it's just been bitty. The moon card. This person, I feel as if, um, could be dealing with Pisces or you could have Pisces in your chart. Remember, I did say, <coughs> that you could be dealing with a water sign um, and Pisces has popped up. So Pisces might be quite significant. Where did I say see that? Where did I see that? Was it under here? I'm sure I said that you could be dealing with, oh, it was the high priestess. That's right. Thank you. Yeah, I saw uh, water um, that this person, ah, oh, that's right. Thank you. All right. Do you remember I said to you, Pisces, that you could be dealing with another Pisces? Look, there's your major arcana come up. that's come out. Yeah, it's as if you spoke, you sung your heart's calling. You called in this person, you know, Pisces. And I feel as if they heard that calling. They heard the calling. They may have been dreaming secretly about, about you. But I feel it's because they were scared. They were scared of this connection. But there's no doubt in my mind that they want to build a future with you. And one more clarification, please, for Pisces. Thank you. And the King of Cups. So I feel as if um, this energy is this person here. I feel as if they have a lot of love for you, uh, Pisces. But guess what? They suppressed it. This is them. They were really unsure and therefore they didn't express how they really felt. And that was that they want to build a future with you because they were scared. But I feel that this person is now looking back. I feel that this person is very spiritual, as are you, all right, with that high priestess. And I feel as if they surrendered this whole situation to divine spirit universe. Somewhere, somewhere along the line, they got their answer. And I feel as if expect um, uh, slow and steady this week. Uh, you may hear from this person, swift, unexpected communication. The driver behind it is because they, they're they coming in with a solid offer. It's, the solid offer is not going to happen this week. This person is going to take their time. Slow and steady is the king of pentacles. But when they do finally come in, it's going to be, yeah, <laughs> a feast of plenty. All right. It's going to be more than you expected. Let's have a look at your advice. Wow, powerful message for you, Pisces. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. 
protection. What was I saying all along that this connection is protected? And we've got keep some aqua, aqua marine close. Mermaid's tears have been known to create these precious gems. Now look at that gem here. And look at that gem here. You may have cried some tears, um, Pisces, over this love situation, over a situation outside love. Um, do you know something? Those tears were like pearls to divine spirit universe. And that is why your feast uh, is going to be plentiful because all you done was spoke your truth um, in love and a situation outside of love. For many of you, it could be a bit of both, to be honest with you. Uh, you are protected and your tears were protected. And look at that patience. The tide will come in when it's ready. I feel as if Divine Spirit Universe is saying, trust them, release. I know that spirit has your um, future in the palm of their hand. You have been co-creating. They're not going to let you down. Have patience. Divine timing. The tide will come in when it's ready. That's divine timing. Thank you. And stillness. In calm waters, everything becomes clearer. Yeah, it's time to just almost... Do you know something, uh, Pisces? I almost feel like it's time to just sit back, relax and let divine do their thing yeah because that's what divine spirit universe your higher self that is what they are best at just leave them just be a passenger and let divine spirit universe your higher self take that driving wheel and just lead you forward um because whatever the situation love outside love a combination of both i feel that this is uh it's 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 gonna be a really beautiful outcome for you uh you spoke your truth you stood up for what you believed is right uh rewriting your script um and i feel as if the opportunity that's coming towards you is something that is surrounded with universal love um and you're going to blossom from that caterpillar um, into something really beautiful, well-respected. Um, and whoever this person is uh, will be more than you expected as well. All right. Okay, I'm going to leave that there, Pisces. If it resonates, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, Pisces, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye-bye.